So guys, I am back with another Starfield video and today guys, I bring you an amazing glitch which will allow you to equip any ship part to your ship with no skills required. This means guys, that the best parts in this game which require you to be a Starship design of a rank 4, you can apply these to your ship without having this rank, giving you the ability to create the best ships in this game without having that rank or that skill. Pretty cool. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Also, credit given where it is due, the person who uploaded this first as far as I'm aware is Nuke Jesus. His channel can be found linked down below if you do want to check him out and show him some love. He did this on PC, it's slightly different on Xbox uh, in regards to the way this works. I mean it works both perfectly on PC and Xbox. There's a few details he missed out which I will cover today. Okay, so I recommend guys you come into the Starship Technician over on New Atlantis on Jameson within the tutorial planet of um, Alpha Centauri because you will hear guys be spending a lot of money in regards to upgrading your parts. Now, if you want to get your money back, you can actually get out the map, access his chest and get all that money back you spent on him. Also guys, you will need the piloting skill of a rank four. Now there's a quick way of doing this, which I'll also showcase to you guys at the end of the video. Okay, so go to the uh, ship services technician, doesn't matter what planet you're on or wherever you're at. Uh, and you want to go to like, I'd like to view and modify my ships. From here guys, you just want to go into that ship builder. Now this is actually quite straightforward to do. Now if I go to a blank spot and I click add, if I go to weapons at the very bottom, you can see that I actually have quite a few that I haven't got unlocked yet. And this goes for many things in the game. Shields, um, reactors. I mean, there's a lot of things here. Engines, I know for an absolute fact because I'm going to demonstrate this for you guys today. I'm going to apply this white dwarf uh, 3015 engine to my ship. I haven't got it unlocked. There's a few things here, but we'll start with the weapons. Okay, so how this works is you need to get as close to your ship as possible on that cursor. You can see where it says add in the bottom right. You need to get as close to your ship as possible without that changing to edit. So if you select any part of your ship, it changes to edit. But if you just move the angle around, you can see it goes back to add. Here guys, just press A. Now I'm on weapons, so I'll showcase this to you how it works with weapons. So if I scroll down to the very bottom, you'll see that these weapons are appearing like a normal color. This means it ain't gonna work in this position. So what I need to do guys is get closer to the ship. So let's say, let's go to this uh, spot here, this nice little space. And you know, if I press A, you can see that the weapon appears red. This is very, very important. Even the items, even the weapons, whatever that I, I have unlocked, they appear red. This is very, very important. If they do not appear red, this will not work. So get as close to your ship as possible or find a space like I have. So when you select on a certain item that you want to apply to your ship, it appears red. Okay, so the item I want to apply is, where is it? Is it auto at this one here? I want to apply this. So what I'll do guys is I'll select a item I do have unlocked, like this auto alpha beam. I'll press A on it. Then guys, what I do is use my D-pad on console and press down. And you can skip through and go through all the items that are locked for you. Then guys, once you get to the item you want, which I believe mine is that one there, then guys, I just move it. Bam. There you go, done. I'll do that again for the other side. So I'll find a nice space. Again, it, with some things it will work if you're very, very close to the ship. Some weapons it works too, so let's go there, let's try it here. I think it all it's all to do with the angles and that. We get weapons, it's a bit more, a bit more of a pain in the ass. So we, we find a gap like that. So I press A, where it still says add, instead of edit. You see that it says that everything's appearing red. That means it will not fit in that particular space. So again, guys, Press A, scroll down with your D-pad, go to the weapon you want and just move it across. You don't have to press A here, just, just move it across. Bam, then apply it, simple as that. Simple as that, I've got a flight check error there, which is, okay, so unassigned, this ship has weapons that must be assigned to a group. Simple as this, guys. Press RB, so you go to your weapons, unassigned, 
click on that and come down to the one I just applied, which is this one right here. Badam, there we go. So that gets rid of that. Now I also want to do this with my engines. My engines, I can definitely get better. So I'm just going to delete these, just like so, all deleted. Then guys, this will work as well. Again, if you get very close to the ship, uh, where it still says add right there. I'll get as close to it as possible. Can you use your camera angle as well, that works. Uh, so press add. Now if I go to my engines, where are they? There they are. If you come to the very bottom, you'll see that there's ones that I do not have unlocked. Again, click on one that you do have unlocked. It's got to appear red, otherwise it don't work because, and I'll explain to you guys, I'll show you. If I do it here, look, if I click on uh, add in an empty space, you can see that it does not appear red. This means when you select on it, you cannot scroll through them. Even if you click on the item, when you use your D-pad, you'll go up and down. This is what you don't want. You want to get as close to it as possible. Then click on it, so it appears red. Then when you press A on it and you use your D-pad, you'll actually scroll through the items. So now, guys, I have the one I want. Bam, there we go. Now, I'm going to do it again. Get as close to it as possible. Go to an item that you have unlocked. Click on it. Scroll down. Bam. There we go. Do that again. Go back up to the supernova. Use your D-pad, come down, lock it in place, bam, there you go. I'm going to do that again one more time, people. Go to an item you have unlocked, click A on it, then you scroll down using your D-pad, and there you go, lock it in place. Beautiful. And there we have it, guys. Now, again, you can do this to your cargo hold, you can do this to absolutely anything in regards to this ship builder. Remember, you just have to get as close to the ship as possible, or in between one of the gaps, because where it says add, it needs to say add and not edit. And you need to appear red when you go to the item. That way then when you select it, you can press it up and down on your D-pad to scroll through the items. Simple as that, guys. And now this is going to cost me 88,000. Again, I told you this is going to be expensive. Boom, so I'm going to apply them to my ship. Now I do have them all on my ship. The engines you can see at the back there. Beautiful. So with the coloring out of the way, which we'll do after, guys, I'm going to quickly show you now how you can get under the map, if you don't know already, to get your credits back. So from this vendor here, um, come around this corner. You want to come to, you'll see three doors on your right here. You want to come to the third door. You, everyone knows about this already, but just in case you don't, go into third person. Um, you want to have a melee weapon in your hand. If you haven't got a melee weapon, uh, you need to go and find one. And with your melee weapon in your hand, left trigger on console is block. Now, if you didn't know, if you jump and press block, you sometimes teleport forward like that. Now, the trick here, guys, is to teleport through this wall. Because uh, you can clip through this wall using this teleport glitch. And you can get the chest, which belongs to that ship vendor. Now, to do this best for me, you run at a distance. You want to jump and land about here. So, you want to land about here, press block and forward at the same time and you will skip through that wall. It can be a little bit of a pain in the ass, but it's worth it to get your credits back. Or you can just stand here, guys. This is another good way as well. Press backwards. So you jump backwards, hold forward. When you land, you'll skip forward. It's a little bit trickier, but it's probably the quickest work method. I will get it down in a second. But again, it's worth it just to get your credits back that you spend. I know a lot of you guys will probably spend way more than what I just spent. So it's definitely worth your time doing this. Okay, so once you get through, guys, simply come this way and you'll see that this chest is right there. Put a bit of light on. Go up here, guys. Jump up again. Make sure you don't click through the bottom of the map. You can grab all that money you just spent. Simple as that, people. Now, in regards to the piloting skill, what you want to do, guys, is come to, again, uh, Jameson the Planet. Come to your star map if you're not here already. Again, New Atlantis. You want to select the planet of Jameson, which is where we're at. And you want to go to, guys, the lodge area right here. Okay, so from here, guys, you want to turn back around on yourself and you want to run in this direction. This is by far the fastest way to level up that pilot into a rank 4. Take you like 30 minutes tops. So you want to go into this area right here. You can see where we're running towards. Go back into first person now put my weapon away okay so run up these stairs guys and what you need to do guys is if you haven't already 
speak to this guy right here. Once you speak to this guy and you start off his quest, he sends you to basically what is like a museum, I can't really remember. And you simply just press a few buttons and learn about the past of the Vanguard and the UC. And then guys, you go straight to the flight simulator, which you'll see in a quick second. Now, once you've got to the flight simulator and you've done that part of the mission, it's quite easy. It takes about five minutes. You then have full access to go and use this flight simulator whenever you want. And to do this, guys, you simply come to this, uh, this elevator. Click a floor. I can see you right at the very bottom. We've got Vanguard Pilot Simulator. It really is this simple. So in here guys, you simply just go in here, enter the uh, simulation, and then you can just sit down and take out multiple ships, wave after wave, and just completing this actual process, just starting it, restarting it, doing it as much as you want, because when you, your ship gets uh, destroyed in this simulator, it doesn't affect you at all. And you can just do this over and over and every ship you take out within this simulator guys counts towards that pilot in rank so yes use that until you get to a rank four it should take you about half an hour or less and there we have it guys guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like it really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one